Hi there, this is Mar Haddad here again. So this is the second video that I'm doing for Velo Networks, which is Velo Wi-Fi Mesh. So in this video, I have to speak about the ISP management protocol. That means that in case you are running an ISP and you are providing to your customers uh, the uh, access points and you want to control those access points that means the Wi-Fi for every of your customers so say that you are an ISP you provide internet via fiber or via cable or via satellite or whatever and then also you want to provide them the internet uh, on the Wi-Fi so you can use the Velo because Velo have uh, made uh, for you a system called the ISP management uh, portal that you can see it here uh, on the screen and from there you can manage for every customer his Wi-Fi which makes things much easier for you because you are an ISP you can see everything that's happening and any problem that the customers they have they can just contact you you have everything in one system and you can uh, check what the problem is and you can do any changes that you want to do so in uh, this video I'm going to show you the in details about the ISP management portal so let's start directly to see how we can add the Velo so say that we are now having a customer and we want to add that customer to our uh, management portal to be able to uh, make the management for the uh, Wi-Fi for that customer so let's see how we can do that so before we start the working I just want to show you this is the uh, portal you can go to it which is isp.veloliving.com I already have an uh, access to that platform because Velo they have given me the access to that platform but if you don't have access you can just register there and then you, you should be able to get an access for that uh, system so you can see you have here the Wi-Fi network you have the Velo uh, inventory you have the customers here you can add the customers I have already added one customer which is myself um, and then uh, you have here some settings that you can uh, change now it's very important to mention that uh, to be able to add the uh, um, for example now we have a new customer we are installing for him at home the uh, Velo so to be able to do that you need to have the mobile phone so on this mobile phone you should have the Velo uh, application installed and on this mobile phone the uh, Velo application needs to be on the account that you have it for the ISP management portal again so the account that you have created for the ISP management portal is the same account that you should put it on the application on the phone and uh, because we are going to use this phone to scan the video at the customer and then this is how it shows directly for us inside this portal so let me show you how we can do that. I have already now my Velo it is uh, powered on and it is connected to the internet. Let's say that I am one of the customers and I want to add that Velo to the management portal to see how we can do the changes. So what I'm going to do now is just to show you directly what we need to, to make on the phone. So let me just go to my phone and uh, to the Velo application. Let me just put it for you so you can also see what we're doing so here we go so this is the uh, this is my phone and this is the application for Willow I have already logged in with the uh, account that I have created in the uh, uh, portal on the ISP management portal now what I need to do is to go inside the uh, my account so you can see I'm not sure if you can see that let me just check here we go so you can see this is the my account so we just click on my account and now we have scan Willow so now I will tag my Velo. So this is my Velo. You can see, and on the the uh, uh, downside of the Velo over here, you can see you have the uh, the QR code, and that's I need to scan it. So all I need to do is just to say scan, and then we click on scan, and here we go. So it has scanned it, and it is success. Very good. That's all you need to do when you go to the customer. You just have to scan it, and now believe it or not what's going to happen that this is going to be added to the uh, portal so now by doing that if we go now back to the portal we go to the Wi-Fi inventory here we go you can see it so it is showing up now directly and it is three pack because I do have three packs uh, uh, of uh, below over here but uh, you need to only scan one and uh, that's it you can see it uh, it uh, shows you 
the uh, MAC address, the serial number, the model, and so forth. If I want to show it to you and make it a little bit smaller so you have here more information, uh, but then you cannot really see the uh, what is written, so that's why I just make it a bit bigger so you can see. But if you can't, you can just move it like this so you see the time created, remote installation, if you want to configure it. All right, very good. So that's the first thing it is showing up over there. Now, the second thing that we can do, we have to create a customer. So because in case we have many, many customers and everyone will have to put it on uh, or for every customer, we have to put his uh, Velo um, hardware for him. So what you can do, you can just come here and just say add. And over here, you have to put email address, first name, last name of the customer. Of course, this is the customer. And then you can just add it and you have it. I have already added uh, my email address, uh, which is my second email address and uh, my name. So imagine that I am the customer. Now we go back to the Velo inventory. Now I just have to check that one. And here we can say assign and I want to assign it to this customer. And then we can say here assign. So by doing that, here we go. So now the status is activated and it is the user. So this is the person who owns the servilo. Uh, and yeah, so now what we can do from here on, we can start configuring the uh, Velo for our customer. All right, now that the uh, Velo has been shown in Velo inventory, we have to um, make the uh, Wi-Fi network. So we have already assigned it uh, to uh, this uh, user. So you can see over here, it's assigned to this user. But now to be able to configure the Wi-Fi network, we need to have the Wi-Fi network here showing up for us that uh, this uh, Velo is being on uh, this uh, Wi-Fi on this portal for the Wi-Fi network. So what we can do over here, we should go back to the application. So uh, let me show you. I will go back to my phone and uh, let's put this again here so you can see what we are doing. So over here on uh, this uh, application, I have to say uh, add Velo. So we need to add Velo on the portal, but also on this application. So here they say it should be connected. That's something we have already done. And now we, they say connect to the Wi-Fi of the Velo. So let me just connect to it, which is Velo underscore 0137. So we connect to it. Excellent. So we go back. And now you can see it's connected to Velo. We can say add Velo to my account. So it takes something like 30 seconds for this to be added to the account. And once this Velo is added to the application on the phone, then you can see the Wi-Fi network showing up uh, for this Velo on the portal. So this is uh, done successfully. So let's go now back to the portal. And let's have a look. So this is the Wi-Fi network. And if I refresh, here we go. So you can see this is the Wi-Fi network showing up over here. And it says that uh, the user emailed with the email address, which is on the application, which is uh, my email address on the application is the one which has added. And over here, you can see that you have some options like allow internet access, yes or not, if you want to do that, and some more options. Now, what you can do, you can just go to view. So over here now, you can start doing the configuration that uh, you want on the video. For example, you can see uh, the devices that are already connected. So we have already now one device, which is my phone. So this phone is connected to the villa now. You can make some reports. So if your customers say that I want a report for the last seven days, for example, you can just make a report and you can send it to him. Here you can do the Wi-Fi settings. You can change the SSID of uh, the uh, villa. You can change or put the password because at this moment there's no password. You can put that. Uh, you can make the signal strength, so high, standard, or low. Uh, this is the encryption. WPA2 is the best to do. You can hide the network. So if you don't want people to see the SSID, the server set identifier, you can just hide it over here and they don't see it. And this is really nice that you don't have it on the application, which is the 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz band. You can choose which channel 
you want to, to use on the 2.4. Of course, on 2.4, you have up to 11 channels where 1, 6, and 11, there are non-overlapping channels. So that, that's something you can use 1, 6, and 11. And if you are using uh, these three packs uh, for uh, the Velo, so they don't overlap to each other and make interference. At this moment, it is on channel 1. But that, that's something you can change it. You can change also the channel widths. So you can use 20 megahertz or 40 megahertz. The bigger the width, then the more bandwidth that you can provide on the wireless, but the, the distance uh, would be less. That means uh, if you are far away from the access point, then you may not get connected. So this is for the 2.4 gigahertz. For the 5 gigahertz, also you can see the channels. So you can see there are much more channels. Uh, normally, it should be much more than that. Uh, so Velo, they have limited the channels to this number. But the 5 GHz normally has much bigger range of channels that you can use. So this is uh, for the Wi-Fi settings you can do here. On the Wi-Fi interface, you can see that everything that uh, you want to control for your customer on uh, at their home, uh, you can do it from here. And uh, you don't need really to go there and connect to the video and do the configuration and check the, or do the troubleshooting. Everything can be done from one place. So this shows you about the Wi-Fi interference. So it's saying that you are now on channel one. It shows for you the interference that uh, you have on this channel. And this is the channel uh, uh, 153 that we are over here. You can optimize it. So you can just click on this and you can do the optimizing of the uh, of the uh, um, channels here. Now you can restart the Velo. So from here, without being next to the Velo, you can just, if the Velo is um, doing an abnormal behavior, you just can go there and just restart it and it is possible. You can do schedule a regular restart. So you can just say that I want that this Velo will be restarted every day, let's say at uh, zero hours in the morning, and I want it to be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and so forth. So you can just do that, and this will be doing automatically on that hour uh, that uh, the video will be restarted. What else? The speed test, that's something very nice that you can do uh, over here. So uh, if you want to know what is the uh, speed test that is uh, uh, on, uh, on uh, the wireless that you have now, so I have already done a test and I have seen that I have on download 23.5 megabit on the upload 27.3 megabit per second. You can just run the speed test and then it will show you. So you can send this to your uh, customers, say to him, this is the balance that you have at this moment in case he is complaining. And this is the ping, how, how, uh, uh, how much is the latency on the internet? What else? The firmware upgrade. So. Uh, you can schedule a firmware upgrade. So by default, the uh, firmware upgrade uh, um, automatically is disabled. If you want, you can enable it. And then the Velo, whenever there is a new upgrade for the firmware, it will make it. And, um, and normally, if you have uh, an upgrade, it will show up over here. But that's now it, this is using the latest version. But then you, what you can use, you can just go and click on upgrade and it makes the upgrade. You can also schedule an upgrade. You can say, when do you want this to happen? So you can say, I want it, uh, for example, on Saturday at this hour, if there's an upgrade, you know that maybe no one is at home, then you can run the upgrade. Now, the LAN settings, by default, it is uh, automatically. So that means it will give IP addresses to the users uh, inside the LAN and subnet mask and gateway and DNS. So uh, you can make it manual if you want. They say oh, we recommend to use the uh, automatic and you can do the bridge mode. So that means you can bridge the, uh, if you click on it, here, here they say, please note the following feature are not available when, uh, when bridge mode is enabled. The user report, the HCP reservation, connected device management and parental control. Bridge mode, that means you are bridging the LAN and the WAN together. So that's something I don't recommend it. So please use the automatic um, always. Now, the DSCP reservation say that uh, this house has a, uh, a server or a phone or a printer. Uh, yeah, printer and server are best uh, example because uh, we don't want that the IP of the, uh, the server and the printer will be changed because otherwise users cannot be reached anymore. So what you can do, we can just give an IP address here. We can say uh, this device, so we can select which device you want. 
and then you can give it an IP uh, address. So uh, uh, this will remain. Of course, the device will be shown once the device is being connected. And finally, you have here the operation logs. So here you have some information about what happened. Uh, so here it says that from the app, I made the factory reset, I upgraded the Velo. So here's some more information about uh, the operation. So that's uh, all about uh, what you can do over here. You can see it's uh, pretty nice. Everything that you want to do, you can do it from here. To just going to uh, the, uh, the Wi-Fi network. And uh, from here, you can go to view. And uh, yeah, you can do what you want to do. Now, uh, the other things that you can uh, here do if you select it and say bulk uh, action. So also you can uh, run the speed test, restart video, upgrade. And so most of the things that you have seen, you can do that. But also here is very nice. You can disallow internet access and allow internet access. So say that uh, the customer did not pay you. Uh, for uh, the, the current month. So what you can do, you can just disallow internet access and then they don't have internet anymore. So that's all about the Villo inventory and Villo network. Um, let me check if there is something more to do on the Villo inventory. I don't think so, but let's have a look. So if we click on that and bulk action, so not really did this. You assign it to a customer, you delete it and you can put here some note. This is the customer we spoke about it. And here are the settings. So these are the settings that you can use on this uh, portal. So for example, the account settings, so you can say what is your ISP name and so forth. The time zone, you can uh, put it, the password, so the account. So here the account is very important because you, you may have more people working for you and your company and uh, they need to use the phone when they go to the customer because they have to do the scan and so forth. So what you can do, you can on this uh, ISP portal, you can create more than one account and then let them log in to, to those accounts on their phones and uh, to do the scan. So this would come uh, to this portal. So you can do that over here. Now access level also. You can create an access level. So that's something like a, a privilege. So um, uh, what they can do. So you, here we can assign what uh, uh, what are the privilege and then you assign it to the user. So say that you have a junior engineer, you don't want him to do all the work. So you get, just give him some privilege that he can do. And uh, that's it. And uh, that's at the end of the operation logs that we have already uh, seen it uh, when we were looking on the Wi-Fi. Now, before I finish this video, I want to show you that uh, if you want to um, uh, have any question to Willow, you can submit here. I will leave for you this link on the uh, video. You can submit uh, your ticket. You put your information here and you can submit it and Willow will get back to you. And that is uh, the ticketing. And if you want to have more information about Willow and Willow ISP, also, this is a very good link, so it gives you some instruction. I have used it also to learn a bit about uh, Villo. So you, here you can see many articles. You can go there and you can read about them. And at the end, also, I'll give this link for you. It's the Facebook group for Villo, so Villo Living uh, ISP. So you can join this group and, uh, yeah, you can ask your question there and some other uh, people who have this uh, product, they can get back to you. So this is all what I wanted to show you about uh, the Velo uh, ISP portal. So you can see it's one system. You can access all the access points for your customers if you are an ISP. And you have the privilege to be able to manage them, monitor them, and uh, do the configuration that uh, you want for them. So if you liked uh, my video, please uh, put a like uh, on my video and share it for other people. And please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much and see you in some other videos.